VCO is actually virtual central office. Central office is like uh, uh, service providers, uh, central office that uh, they have uh, all multiple uh, network functions deployed traditionally. But now we decided to move it into virtualized, which means that we'll use the, the cloud technologies like NFE and SDN to, and to support those uh, future virtualized network functions. What we've done here at this particular event in ONS is to create a mobile architecture for the virtual central office. Basically, we had, that you did not see on stage, was a virtual central office in a lab um, back in uh, San Jose. Um, California, um, and in there we also had two cell phones and a Faraday cage with a software-defined radio on them, and with a lot of uh, next-generation mobile core, sort of software-defined. And then on stage, we had basically what would be a branch. We actually sort of were able to manipulate the phones back in California via an app, and we were able to do a live phone call from the uh, cage to the stage. The, the network itself was sort of a 5G sort of ready um, virtual network with a lot of open source components and we were able to complete a phone call from California to the stage there and pick it up and show everyone that the phone call had come through. The VCO demo currently they are just so showing the capability to bear like a residential use case, uh, uh, enterprise use case, mobile core, mobile edge, but there are a lot of other services. And also you should uh, improve the, the service assurance. So basically sort of the different components that we brought into the demo were based on various um, requirements we've gotten from telcos of what they're thinking sort of the, the the components need to be for the next generation like edge and and 5g network yeah you know, this was a proof of concept but you know one of the things we we've got um, are some different projects going on within opnfe that are going to look at sort of now operationalizing those within the context of the open source organizations for channel mobile uh, we actually have working on the future network based on nfe and sdn for several years and I guess uh, this year we, we see a lot of uh, deployment op opportunities. And the, the more you actually get into deployment, you more actually realize how import important it is to integrate different components, to test the different components. When you go to deploy, you will see that the new technology needs integration and testing. <laughs> so we, we guess that this the VCO approach actually helps us solve a lot of this kind of problem. I mean, just the fact that we had so many companies willing to work together um, with different open source components as well as some companies' proprietary components that were interoperable with that, um, you know, the handset interoperability with the virtual uh, evolved packet core, um, and then also, you know, we showed software basically five different open source consortia were involved in it as well. The move towards making this whole environment truly cloud native, high, you know, uh, ability to dynamically scale, uh, then add components like ONAP, which is again, you know, built on microservices and containers into this and use ONAP to orchestrate the entire environment are some of the things that we're looking going forward. Also acceleration, uh, Kubernetes, container as a service, these things actually is something that we should try afterwards. You should be able to run any kind of network functions, applications on that. And to evolve that model to a cloud native uh, environment with containers, with microservices, that's the goal we're trying to achieve. It is never too late to get involved, and in fact, you know, we had some new companies this time um, that hadn't been involved in the first round, so you know, we'd love to see more folks involved, and there is a VCO mailing list that you can join, or certainly join any of the actual projects within OPNFE that are working on this.